What's up, fellow gamers? Welcome back to my channel, your one-stop destination for all things PC gaming. Today, we're diving deep into the latest update of the lossless scaling software. This isn't just any update, folks. It's one of the most significant ones we've seen so far, bringing a host of improvements to the table. The star of this update? The frame generation feature. It's been revamped and upgraded, making it far superior to its predecessors. If you're new to the world of lossless scaling, let me break it down for you. This software uses advanced upscaling techniques to enhance both the graphical quality and performance of your PC games. But wait, there's more. The current versions of lossless scaling have expanded their horizons to include the frame generation feature. Previously, this was an exclusive perk for NVIDIA Series 40 GPUs and games that support AMD's FSR 3 frame generation. Now, it's part of the lossless scaling package. So, whether you're a seasoned gamer or just starting out, this update has something for everyone. Stay tuned as we explore all these features in detail. Let's level up our gaming experience together. Game on. Fasten your seatbelts because today we're diving into the world of lossless scaling frame generation 2.0. This update is a game changer, and here's why. Firstly, improved architecture that has been tuned to process large-scale movements. This means you can enjoy efficient gameplay even at lower frame rates. For optimal performance, base frame rates of 30 FPS for 1080p resolutions and 40 FPS for 1440p resolutions are recommended. But if you want to take your gaming experience to the next level, try 60 FPS or higher. But that is not all. This update significantly reduces common artifacts such as motion ghosting, edge distortion, and image blur. If you still notice any artifacts, try increasing the base frame rate for a smoother experience. Now, let's talk about GPU load. With this update, it has increased by 1.5 to 2x, depending on the resolution. A new performance mode has been added to maintain the performance of the previous version. It maintains all the main advantages of the quality version and even surpasses LSFG 1.1, all at the same speed. We're going to put the new version of lossless scaling to the ultimate test with none other than Cyberpunk 2077, Phantom Liberty. This DLC has introduced some new maps that are notorious for their high demands on PC performance. These areas, with their intricate details and complex environments, make them the perfect battleground to test the metal of lossless scaling. With just a single click, we're going to crank up the frame rate of our game and see what happens. Will we encounter any artifacts or bugs? Will we experience low latency? There's only one way to find out. We're going to put the new lossless scaling performance mode to the test. As you can see on the screen, the GPU usage is off the charts. But don't worry, that's where the performance mode comes into play. With this mode activated, we're aiming to boost our gaming performance without compromising on the quality. So let's flip the switch and see how much of a difference it makes. I've noticed a lot of you asking in the comments about how I visualize the frame rate gains with lossless scaling and the frame generation feature activated. Well, today, I'm going to share my secret with you. To do this, we'll need two pieces of software, HWinfo64 and the Riva Tuner Statistics Server, RTSS. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to set it up. Start by launching HWinfo64. When the initial dialog box pops up, select the Sensors Only option. This will give us a detailed look at our system's performance metrics. Once you're in, navigate to the Configure Sensors option. This is where we'll be making some important adjustments. In the Customize tab, look for the Present Mon section. Here, you'll want to edit the entry labeled Frame Rate Presented. 
This will allow us to monitor our frame rate in real time. Next, switch over to the OSD RTSS tab. Again, navigate to the present mon section. Here, you can make edits according to your preference. This is where you can customize how your on-screen display looks while gaming. Finally, keep HGWinFO64 open while you're gaming. This will allow you to view your frame rate on the RevaTuner statistics server. And there you have it. That's how I keep track of my frame rates while testing out different games and settings. I hope you found this video insightful and enjoyable. Remember, each video is a labor of love, involving countless hours of research, rigorous testing, and meticulous editing to deliver top-notch content to you. My mission? To help each and every one of you elevate your gaming experience to its maximum potential. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Your support fuels this journey of exploration into the world of PC gaming. Stay tuned for more exciting content, and until then, keep gaming, keep exploring, and keep pushing those boundaries. Catch you in the next video, gamers.